Hi guys, so I thought that I would film this vlog a little bit differently and just chime in on things like, I don't know, because I didn't really vlog much for this one, at least not as much as I did for Imagine Dragons at all, and I really didn't even do that much for Imagine Dragons because I'm still trying to adjust to vlogging concerts. But I know that you guys are really excited for my Logic one coming up in July, so I'm definitely going to do my best to film a lot more for that vlog and make it a really good vlog for you guys because I definitely want to remember it because it's one of the concerts that I was most excited for this summer. I did film some little bitty clips of things. So the first thing that we did in Columbus was we went to the Polaris Mall because when I saw Justin Bieber way back when in like fifth grade, um, we went to the Polaris Mall. We went to Hot Topic, and this is kind of related to the concert because I got five sauce stuff. Because I'm five sauce trash and have to own everything, even if I'm not going to use it. Buy two, get two free. And it says five seconds of summer. Great. And then I got this one, which I actually really like. The little broken heart, you know. And it says five seconds of summer with the little lightning bolts too. Then since I got those two, I had to pick out two other things. So I got this mystery pin, which was $1.49. So it was obviously one of the things that I got for free, pretty much. Um, because it was night before Christmas and there was nothing else there that I really cared about. And it says simply meant to be. And then I also got this Ed Sheeran Divide bracelet. So after we went to the mall, we went to Target and obviously I had to see if they had the Callum cover of the CD because I couldn't find it anywhere. No. No. I think. Did I get one too? No, you already have one. Oh my god, they only have Luke and Callum. I love this Target. Oh my god. Oh, this one's, this, good thing I looked, this one's broken. Dope. They had the Callum cover. Very, very happy. Very, very happy. So I did get the Callum cover. The gecko right now is staring at me. You guys have to see this. Look at her. She's like oogling and ogling. She's in shock. Oh my god, she's so pretty and cute. I love my gecko so much. She's so funny. Then we got to the venue. This one was Spencer Sutherland or Stutterland. I don't even know. He's from Columbus. He was a nice guy and I did like his music, but from what I could see, he was lip syncing some of it, and I'm just not a fan of that. That kind of just ruins the experience, and especially like if it's your first time being exposed to an artist, it kind of like kills the mood. And he was promoing himself um, quite a lot. He was like telling people to follow his Instagram and stuff, and I was like, hmm. The second act was in real life, and let me tell you, I was not a fan at all. Now, I have heard their song Tattoo. It's always on the radio. It's not the worst song ever. It's just not necessarily like my style of music. I mean, I'm pretty diverse with my music taste. They were very, very young and they were, the way they were dancing was just like I was watching like Magic Mike live and I'm just, it made me really uncomfortable. Like these people are like 14 to 16 and they're grinding on stage and like showing their junk in people's faces and I just was not a fan of that at all. I didn't like how they presented themselves. I wasn't a fan of any of their music and half of their mics were turned off which I thought was kind of junky. So I couldn't even really hear them because their mics weren't on, which isn't really their fault, but it was just like, 
a really unfortunate situation for them. All the girls around me were screaming like daddy or hottie or date me. Very unsettled and I just was like not comfortable at all. So I actually moved away from them because I was just like... I really don't want to hear your slang terms when Five Sauce comes on and I really don't want to think about what you want to do to so-and-so. Like, I it just... Mm. Also, we had Bozzy perform and Bozzy was pretty amazing. Um, really energetic, really good live and had a really good crowd, like, control and everything. And that was a good time. So I, I enjoyed seeing him live. That's all I have to say about the opening acts. And then Five Sauce came out. I got this hat because I haven't seen it anywhere. And it's just a wine to be for young blood. And then the back says Five Sauce. But it's a dad cap. And I love dad caps. But I actually wore this the entire concert. And I'm obsessed with it. Oh, I know, yeah. I know. It's not on their merch store. I haven't seen it anywhere else, and it's probably the thing that they're selling at festivals, and they'll probably end up selling it at the Meet You There tour, which I'm not going to. So, I got the hat. Five Sauce came out, amazing time. This was like probably the closest I've ever been to them, and I could see, for the most part, everything. I could actually see Callum this time, so I basically just stared at Callum the entire performance. I am so sorry. But I got some really good footage, I got some really good pictures, and I had a really good time. The only thing that made me upset was that they were only out for 40 minutes, and it was the same exact set list as Five Sauce 3. I was really excited that Youngblood was coming out on the um, 15th instead of the 22nd, but that meant absolutely nothing because they didn't sing any new songs. On the um, Five Sauce 3 tour, they sang Young Blood, Want You Back, Lie to Me, Moving Along. You know, they played like those songs that were new off of Young Blood, but those were the same exact songs that they performed at Summer in the City. So they only played like I think seven songs, and it was pretty much like the same exact set list except for like less songs as Five Sauce 3 so I was really upset about that but I love seeing Five Sauce because I think that they're amazing live and I absolutely love those boys so anytime I see them is a good time I'm not complaining I was very lucky and blessed to have seen them then and to have seen them like four times I'm very thankful it was worth it in the end you know just to be there because of how close I was because I got to see all these other acts because I got to go to Columbus and it was a really good time it's just unfortunate that it was nothing different but they were good live it was a good time I just wish I would have heard if walls could talk live like that's all I wanted was to hear if walls could talk live and I didn't get to hear it
So if you've seen Five Sauce, let me know. If you're going to see Five Sauce, let me know. Tell me about your experience. And yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.